welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial I am going to show how to do a simple turning operation using the lathe ZX machine definition. So the first thing we do obviously is go to our machining tab and make sure lathe ZX is our active machine definition. So mine's already set for Lathe ZX, but if we double click it, you can go to the Machines tab, look around for it, there it is, double click it, click OK, and you'll have Lathe ZX active. Now we need to import our model. So I'm going to go to Project, Import, and I'm going to find Turn Part 1. All right. Now if we look at how the um, coordinate crosshairs are, we need to bring this out towards the front of the part. So I'm going to click on part and then highlight turn part one, use my transform functions up here to locate zero and then put my z-axis in the middle and my x-axis out towards the end, so the max. Click apply and close. And that puts that right out where we want it. Now we're going to go to our machining tab. We're going to click on workpiece, click primitive, cylinder, around, x axis, click add. So we now have our material. And we're going to create a new lathe roughing operation. When you do that, sprue cam tends to slice the part in two so you can kind of see um, the silhouette of the, and see what it needs to actually turn. We're not going to pick this tool, so we're going to double click roughing. And I'm going to find a tool that I made before, tool 1, which is just a 55, par, uh, 55 degree parallelogram. So like that will help us get into all those small areas. We will go all the way over to our strategy. Now for plunge, we want to select to do all the surfaces and in step over here in inches I'm going to pick 25 thousandths and I'm going to keep 15 thousandths in stock in X or in Z and 15 thousandths in X. Click OK. Now you're going to find out there is a bug in sprue cam when you close out of your lathe operation, sometimes you'll get some giant looking tool. It has something to do with um, metric conversion. If you just double click to go back in, click OK, it refreshes with the correct tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Run. Let's take a look how this is going to do. Looks pretty good. Check my simulation and click play. Goes through, even does that bit of a groove here, kind of just gets in there as much as it can. That's great, that's all I want it to do. Go ahead back to our machining tab. Now I'm going to create a new lathe finishing operation. Double click in there, find my tool, Same tools I had before. Make that number one. I believe I have to go back and make that number one for lathe roughing as well. well. Let's just go to our strategy. Now we left 15 thousandths in there, so we're going to actually put this distance to 5 thousandths and jack up the quantity to three. We already have all of our tools inclined, or all of our machining all the surfaces are selected. We'll click OK. Click Run. 
and we'll have to do the same thing where we go back in and click out and it has now updated the tool click run and simulate now we're going all the way out towards the end I don't want it to go all that way so I don't want that to go all the way out towards the end so now let's go into our machining tab I'm going to in my um, job assignment I'm gonna click reference and then I'm gonna go over here click this little icon and pick between two points so I'm gonna move this point all the way to right about there and I'm gonna move this point down right to that edge so now let's make it reset and run and when I do my finish pass now I'm only doing them on the areas that I want to touch good now I'm going to do the rest of this groove in here so I'm going to pick a new lathe grooving and I'm going to go down to my job assignment and clear what's ever in there and I'm going to hide this tool so I can get at this part this part right here I'm going to click that and click reference all right now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pick this little icon here and go between two points. I'm going to move one point right there. I'm going to move the other point right there. And now I'm going to double click lathe grooving. Find my tool. I made a tool two here, which is just a groove tool. It's a hundred thousandths wide. And in strategy over here, there's lots of different things you can do with the grooving tool. I'm just going to see what it's going to do right away without me touching anything. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I get the crazy big tool. Let's go back into lathe grooving. Click OK again. Run it. Go to my simulation. And I'm going to slow it down a little bit and click play. So it just goes back and forth, cleans up that little area. That's not too bad. We may want to do a little difference on here. 80% rough step. Maybe turn that to 40% rough step. Click OK and run. Now let's simulate it. There, it's cleaned up a little nicer. Looks good. So, we've grooved that part and we've done the turning of the perimeter. Let's all we got to do here is drill this part right here. So, we're going to go and make a new lathe drilling operation. Now, here's a funny thing. Look at the drill bit, it's sticking straight down. We have to tell it at what angle does it need to drill this because SprueCam is able to do um, live tooling and, and whatnot. We want it to we want it to go straight down. We don't need to be drilling it because we don't have a live tooling. So let's go over to our setup, find our tool angle position setting and put 270 degrees and click enter. Now the drill bit's facing the correct way. It's way over here, but that'll correct itself. So let's go back into lathe drilling. We'll double click. Find a tool. I made a quarter inch drill right here. Oh, no, that didn't work out. Where's my Oh, drill one. That very good. That drill just has a quarter inch diameter to it. Oh, we want to change the tool. So click no, go to tool. Make that our tool number three. Find our strategy. Right now we're just going to keep it where, it, where it's at. Go ahead and click run. Sprue cam's going to automatically figure out, okay, that's obviously where it wants me to drill. 
go to our simulation, click play, and it drills right down to that depth. Well, it's a pretty aggressive drill. Let's make it a peck drill. So let's go back into machining, double click lathe drilling, pick our cycle type up here, make that chip removing, and let's do it in inches, and we're going to make a chip of 75 thousandths. Okay? That'll be our peck depth. Click run. Go back to simulate. Click play. And there we have it. It does a very nice peck drilling operation. All right. So we've gotten through all those deals. The last thing we need to do now is do a lathe part off operation. Go back down here in our setup. Obviously we don't want the parting tool to be at 270 degrees, so we're going to pick that, put that back to zero. Click run. Let's just see where our parting tool decides to come from. Nothing good there. Let's go to our job assignment. Click clear. Click on reference. That's the plane that we want to part at. Click run. Click simulate refresh and click play. Now that particular parting tool is doing some crazy stuff and we don't want it to do. So let's go back to our top of our part. Oh, that gives us a better perspective. We got turned around a little bit there. Now let's see what our parting tool is going to do. Slow it down a little bit. Click play. Yeah, that's not going to work out. Let's go and click to the plane. And let's just part it in here somewhere. Perfect. Now we'll just move the plane out here. That's just what we want it to do. Click play. Parting tool comes in. Parts it off. Now, let's say we don't want to do that in one giant plunge. We can make it chip breaking or chip removing. Let's go with chip breaking and give it a depth of 50 thousandths. And we got the crazy big tool problem again, so we'll double click in, click OK run it and let's watch on the simulation now click play that's better we're still a little bit over the top there let's see if we can maybe move this plane out just just a little bit I want it to just be on the edge of the part That's good. Click play. Perfect. Looks good. So this has been a simple turning operation. I hope you enjoyed it.